Hello, day two, level three. So I wanted to show y'all, these are uh, oyster mushrooms that I found yesterday at the river. Let me get one out of this bag. This one's kind of beat up, it's not as easy to tell what it is. But they have straight gills uh, and then kind of an irregular, regular scalloped edge, they call it. Anyway, these got a little beat up in my bag and they were kind of past their prime. So I am helping the mushrooms out and I'm putting them in these woods back here where I've found other mushrooms and hopefully they will um, thrive. And then there'll be oyster mushrooms here, however long it takes oyster mushrooms to do. But I found a lot of mushrooms in that woods and, and I really am excited to go check after. So that's your nature lesson for the day. <laughs> and oyster, you can eat them. You can eat them, they're delicious. Okay, so I'm gonna set them there. And we are gonna do uh, more of the swimming dragon, Qigong. And um, as far as your legs, here comes Zig, right on time. Right on time for the, for the camera. Um, as far as your legs for the swimming dragon, okay, what we'll need to do is Think of that same feeling of when we are going down in um, in the form, this kind of condensing, this pulling everything in. You're pulling all your body in, all of your attention in, into the into the midline. That's what you'd like to do when you are doing the dragon tail. Your arms are the are the tail. And what's happening in your body? We're going to go over that as well. Uh, as this, as far as this squeeze goes, and this is it's an internal organ massage. Is the is the um, squeeze side to side? So let's do a warm up that helps us get through that concept of that pulling and condensing in. First, have you seen my kimono? Have you noticed yet? It is. I wore it for the sunrise. This, I guess, is before sunrise, and then it turns into sunrise. Um, so let's do arms overhead, a little bend in the knees. And so here we inhale and then exhale, condense. Inhale, exhale, condense. What I mean, condense, like pull in, make things um, contracted. Now inhale, hold the breath. Hold, palms together and down. So I'm bending my knees, I'm letting my chin tuck in. And now exhale, stand. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Okay, inhale, hold, and pull in. It's like a pressure cooker. You're pulling in, condensing in. Exhale, stand. Inhale, Exhale, inhale, exhale. And now inhale, hold, big breath, and down. And exhale, all the way down. So that is a great example of you can build a lot of heat, move a lot of energy uh, without even moving around. You're just you're just in one in one place. So that's the concept of the swimming dragon. For balance, of course, if your feet need to be wider apart, go for it. But if you can, get your legs all the way together because that's gonna encourage that, that inward motion. So inhale, arms overhead. Let's go side to side first. Inhale and stretch over to your right. So make the middle stronger if you want the outside to stretch. So my legs are squeezing together so this outer side can stretch. Good, and back to center, and other side. If you're just waking up and you're just kind of moving for the first thing, remember just go about 60, 70% of your total stretch. Just get the blood moving, breathe in, exhale, and inhale, come back to center. Now, stretch up, and we'll come down the midline now. Okay, first we're gonna let your left elbow come up. We're coming across the 
the uh, throat. Now we start to condense and hands come in front and then those lower parts. So see what we're doing here, lower jowl, middle jowl, upper jowl, and reach up. And exhale down. So now we'll do the other side. So right elbow up across in the middle. So I'm pulling in, condensing in, and lowest. And middle. And then across the throat. And stretch up. Good. Inhale. Let's go side to side in between. And to the side, up, and to the side. Good. And up. Breathe in, and then down. Your left elbow up, across the throat. My elbows are pulling into my body. And so my hands go this way, my hips go that way. And then my hands go this way, my hips go that way. So my waist is doing this thing. And let's come back up. And then across the throat. And stand. Good. Breathe in. And down the other side. Down the middle to do the other side. Cross. Middle. Lower jowl. Middle. And across the throat. <clears throat> this is very balancing for the uh, endocrine system. Breathe in. We're going to stretch uh, side to side in between. So it links up. It helps link up our thyroid with our thymus, pancreas, adrenal glands. Okay, moving into the final round. Breathe in. And come down the midline. Okay, up. Across the throat over the middle, through the middle, elbows in, condense, through the middle. Breathing is, is kind of, uh, I would say natural, but really utilizing the breath to activate the middle. And come down, okay. cross, middle, lower. So I'm, I'm pulling in, across the throat, and up we go, good, breathe in, and exhale, yeah, wonderful, okay, so that, that's called Swimming Dragon, that is, I mean, say, separate from the five animal Qigong, it's not, part, it's not one of the animals, even though it's a dragon, um, that's in the mythical, <laughs> mythical animal Qigong category. So in, we're going to learn, we've been learning piece by piece, we are going to learn the five animal Qigong. Because I really uh, want this, want your stances to be right. Uh, so then you're actually, you're going to be moving the energy where we would like to move it. So we're going to learn the, the, um, the, the second part of the tiger today. We're going to do all the first parts and then we're going to learn, start learning the second parts of a few. So the first part of, of the tiger pose, tiger exercise, is very similar to lifting earth to heaven but we just have the tiger claw. So we'll, we'll uh, center and harmonize chi first. Inhale, lift up onto the toes and then exhale, lower heels, lower hands. So, turn, it's almost like turning, twisting, and make a fist to follow your hands, follow the hands up. When they get to your face, open, follow the hands up, and now grab and pull down. And then hands open around your face. Grab, making fists, really tight fists. Open, grab, pull down, open, go down. Same inhale, very active inhale. Inhaling, 
grabbing, pulling up. So it's like this. Lifting up, grabbing, and pulling down. Hands open at the chest and follow your hands. You might need to be watching me, if, you know, to see what we're doing for a while, but really this is, this guides your neck when you're doing that um, up and down. Okay, so that's tiger part one. So tiger part two is, um, is to start to learn what's called the tiger pounce or tiger um, snatching prey. Uh, so, I thought I had an ant, but it wasn't. Um, so here we go with this pulling up. We're still pulling up. We're not making the intense fist. We're lifting up, coming up. And when we go forward, we're gonna do slow motion first. You're gonna go forward. I'm keeping my head a little above my arms and I'm looking forward. So your legs will get straighter and straighter. So from the side, it looks like, it looks like this. I'm pulling up, coming up, and then forward. So I have a little bend in my knees to be more gentle for my low back. Uh, so that is the in-between, the, the middle, middle pounce. So we'll come up. This is our strong inhale and then exhale. So to, to stand from here, the arms come down and it's like a wave action up the body, up again. Now, as I want you to start to shift your weight to your right foot, shift your weight over here because now we're going to pounce with this left foot foot. Let me back up so you can see my foot. This left heel in empty stance. There's no weight here. You can keep that heel there for balance. And now pull up. Here's this wave action. Shift weight back into both legs. In between is the middle. Balance. Arms come down. Just up the body. It's like the pants, the hands are like really putting on pants. Coming up. And now shift weight over into your left, into your left. So then when you lift up this right heel, it's empty. And we pounce to your right. Good. Arms come back. So as the arms are kind of moving back, you're shifting weight to both of the legs. Coming up, pounce middle. Arms fall arms come up shift weight to your right foot and now the empty stance with the left heel there you go arms come back shift weight middle pounce middle in between hips are moving back body forward arms drop down coming up now you start shifting your weight to your left leg now. And now we pounce to your right. Coming up, shifting weight middle. Go to the middle. Arms come down. Start shifting weight to your, to your right. Let your arms lift up. Start to lift, this should feel real easy to lift this left leg. Empty stance. That heel is down, if you see my heel is on the ground for balance. Coming back, start to shift my weight to both my feet. Middle, arms fall. Start shifting your weight to your left leg. Lift the right knee and pounce right. And arms come back, shift weight. And one more time, inhale, and then we're just gonna exhale. Arms come down, great. So in between, harmonize. Lift up, I'm lifting up onto my toes, and then lower hands, lower heels. Okay, so that's tiger, and now we move into the deer. So I'm gonna take my flip-flops off for this. So 
So the legs of the deer, the feet of the deer, of deer one. Here we again are going to do this weight shift because when you, when you go to pick up a leg, it makes sense to not have any um, weight in it. You'd like it to be empty when you pick it up. So just simple, we could, a great exercise to feel this emptiness is shift to the side, just pick this foot up, kind of touching with my toes. And then this is empty, bring it over, shift. Then this is empty and this comes over. Shift, no weight in this when I pick it up. Step, shift, lift. Step, shift, lift. Um, so let's move into the legs of deer. So I'll try to go, I'll try to move sideways and even uh, turn so you can see what everything's doing. So first we shift weight. Shift weight to your right leg. So this left leg is empty. And you are going to lift this leg and my toes are pointing out here. All right, I'm gonna back up so you can see my toes. Shift weight, leg lift. You know, you'll see on the internet, people are stepping way out there. We'll get there. Step out here. Now shift your weight forward. So now that back leg can be straight and you are gonna twist and look behind for your, that'd be for your right heel. You are looking. Twist within the waist. Okay, turn your body back to center. Shift your weight back. So this is now more empty. You can even, you'll see that, you'll see you can shift all the way back there. This leg comes back and here's the little prance. I mean, I don't think I've pranced before. Sunrise before. I think this is a whole new thing pre-sunrise prancing. So now this leg is empty, steps out. So you always turn in the direction of the leg. So now I'm turning and looking back for the back heel. There is significantly trying to get more weight in this front uh, leg. Turn back shift back, get ready to prance, and there. So now the weight's in this leg, and I can lift this, your left leg, easily. Step out, and the twist happens in here. Twist and look behind. Back leg is straight. So you see why this is good for the kidneys with this waist twist. Good, shift back, or turn back, and then shift back, Prance. And lift, step, shift weight, turn. Turn back, shift back, and last prance. Good. Lift, step, turn. We actually have one more prance because we had started at this side. Turn. So you are turning at the waist. Where your weight is affects your balance greatly, okay? So you can also step your feet this, you know, you can step this front leg more out to the side. If you really feel like you're on a balancing beam and that's and that's um, not easy to do yet, you don't have to do that. Look, there's a Betty sighting. Hey, Penny. And turn. Weight in the front, try to get more weight in the front leg. Turn back, shift back. Okay, last prance. Hope it's not the last prance of your day. <laughs> prance. Good. Step, shift, turn. Turn back, shift back, and bring that front like that. Great. So that, those are just the legs of deer one. We're going to have some arm motions, but I just, we have time. So this is wonderful to be able to break it up piece by piece. Because if your legs aren't right, the upper body is going to be having too much tension in it. So the legs are, are really important. Great. So those are, that was legs deer one. So now we come up, lift up onto the toes, exhale lower, 
if it feels natural to do this too, this is really nice. A little bit more of a circular motion up and down. Okay, so that was your, now we're into number three, which is the bear, okay? And um, so we are going to bring the hands in like, it's like not like a fist, it's more like a, like a circle, okay? And I want to come, I want to go in this motion where you guys are coming up your right side first and then down. So it's, um, there's a little bend in the knees and you're leaning, right? It, it, it looks a little awkward because it is a little awkward because I'm really trying to just get my torso. I'm trying to just really, as if I'm like turning my own abdomen, coming up and down and up. You guys are coming up the right and down your left and then switch up over and down up over and down and another one up over and down this is the bear so good so that was ba the bear one this is your abdomen that was bear one and then let's do the the legs of bear two uh you're the arms will kind of they do their thing too but but the legs of bear two what we'll do is we we shift weight i want you to shift weight over onto this left um flip flops off shift it into the left because you're going to take a big like a big step and the um the arms do this kind of thing we'll get there we'll do this thing and then then shift weight into the front because you're going to take another big step like a boom like a um, stomp really bear stomp so start back here shift weight remember you have to pick up a leg because there's no, no weight in it and it's a stomp stomp and you will go over the arms eventually just let your upper body do Shift weight front so you can pick up this foot and stomp. And then the arms do this. Kind of like a lumbering yogi bear. <laughs> pick up and stomp. Good. So those are the that's the legs of bear too. So you put it all together, we're gonna know every piece. So now into monkey. Monkey is, uh, it is very playful. You want it to be very playful. And I've seen videos where uh, they like even ask you to do the monkey face. Like that, I'm not sure what that is, but, but um, put that in your mind for future <laughs> reference. So it's, it's like this fast twitch with our, with our hands, feet are hips width apart, and it's like a, like a grasp or a clutch. We lift up, shoulders lift up. I'm lifting up onto my toes and then turn the head. Head back, arms down, shoulders down, heels down. Grab and turn the head. My shoulders are up into my ears and I'm onto my toes. Turn back, shoulders down, arms down, heels down. Grab. And turn, turn back, shoulders down, arms down, heels down, grab, shoulders up, and turn the head, I'm up onto my toes, turn the head back, shoulders down, arms down, grab again, shoulders up, lift up, turn the head, head back, lower down, arms down. Great. And so the monkey two, that is the most complicated of the of the stances. But we can practice the legs of it. So what I'd like for you to do is really get familiar with what is called the empty stance. The empty stance is nothing in in that would be in your 
your right leg and ever all the weight is into the standing leg. That can still be down for balance, but all balance only. And then we will shift. This leg's empty, so it can step over and shift into empty stance here. All the weight is in the standing leg. This is just for balance. Shift. So with the crane, the empty uh, leg is important um, because we're really going to be, we want to be lifting it up. So we'll center in between, and inhale, coming up, and exhale, lower heels, lower hands. So for the crane, shift weight, shift it into your right leg. And now the hands come up halfway, my knee is coming up hips width. And lower that leg down so the toes touch and now the hands come all the way up into the backs of the hands touch knee is lifted up and then arms down leg down shift weight and then you can easily lift that leg because there's no weight in it and down toes touch and then all the way up actually crane two. I'm going to show you crane one next. Apparently we need to do those in reverse today. Shift weight and up halfway and down. If you need to just with for balance lift your leg two times just do that or if you need to hold on to something do that. Uh, process all the way lower down. Okay, so in reverse, we lift, this is crane one, lifting up, hips shift back, I'm looking under my hand. So it's like this very distinct stretch for the mid back. It's like a, a almost like you're about to dive, dive into a, oh, I guess this is the, this is definitely the crane action you know, ready to get a fish. And then arms come down. Now you're going to shift your weight, shift your weight into your left leg and lift the right leg behind you. My arms are straight and reaching back. Shift weight, even. Inhale, lift up. And then exhale. As the arms are lifting, I'm shifting weight into to be your right side. Shift, inhale, and lift your right leg, and shift, inhale, stretching, your hips are moving back, you're looking under the arm, so one more time, each side, reaching up, look under, Shift weight. Even if you just need to use the, just slide the back foot back. That's totally fine. Just slide it back and use the back leg, back toes rather, as the kick as a kickstand. If you can, lift it up off the ground. Shift. It. Inhale. And then lift. Back toes can touch. And then arms back and shift weight. So here we are really working with the weight shift because that is going to help everything else turn and move and the energy to move. So throughout the day, practice that. Uh, practice, you know, shifting your weight before you, you know, like stepping up and into a step is a good, is a good action. It really keeps, um, keeps the hip flexors uh, a little bit more flexible too, you know, if we're not trying to lift, lift the leg when there's a bunch of weight into it. Okay, so 
those were the those are the five five animals to go liver is tiger kidney is deer spleen is bear heart is monkey and the lung is a uh, crane Moving into the Chi Lao Qi Gong form, lift Chi up or Chi down. So working with the three um, parts of the form that help us to balance out energy within ourselves and then our, the energy with between us and other people and then us in the world. So we'll begin legs together lift up through the crown of the head stand through the feet the head touches sky feet stand on earth body relaxes mind expands mind is clear attitude is humble be quiet be respectful only unifying thoughts. Think space. Think body. Entire body is harmonized with chi. Begin to practice. Flex the wrist. Here we are transmitting, transferring, sharing energy with earth energy, yin energy moving out and moving back and again relax the wrist and coming around gathering chi and then transfer transmit give chi to yourself and filling the dantian and around palms to the ground around and pointing towards Ming Men. Deliver Chi to Ming Men. Gate of life, gate of destiny. Bend the elbows. Coming up. Time for self-gratitude and thank yourself for making time for this. Pressing Da Bao. Reaching forward. Deliver Chi third eye point. Here we cultivate our attention, continue to invest in our intention, turn the palms up, coming around and pour chi down, palms up, lift chi, overhead palms will come together at the top, and then down the midline. Point fingers forward, straighten arms forward, separate the hands, flex the wrist, make a triangle, and then separate the triangle, and now push, pull, push, pull, shoulders forward, shoulders up, shoulders back, shoulder blades squeeze, and open, Close. Give and receive. Blue sky and body. Coming out. Push. legs together, reaching tailbone down, give, free up the mid back and the neck. Vertical, collect chi up and down. And up and down. And up and down. Turn palms up, lift chi 
overhead. Here we allow it all to balance out, pour chi into ba hui. Now washing down the front of the body, coming down, revitalizing, energizing, and moving hands down until they touch the navel, deliver chi. body and come back behind and deliver chi to Ming Man. It's in the deepest arch of your back. Deliver chi. Preparing to roll down so legs very strong and together start bending and rolling. Tuck the chin coming down the backs of the legs. Come around to the front of the feet, shins or knees. And remember this is what it looks like from the side. We're coming forward down. This is an important piece of it. Shift hip back. Even if it's a tiny, tiny bit, even if it's just an inch, shift back so you can come up, forward, down, and back. Take your time with this. This helps stretch out a very particular place of the inner thighs. One more. Forward, down, back, and up. Keep your chin really tucked in and, and come up the front of our legs. Gather chi in front of the feet and then Slowly roll up. Coming to the navel and deliver chi to the dantian. And then arms by our side. So that was harmonizing the chi with ourselves. Now we harmonize chi with others, between us and others. Reach, pull, give, and receive. Offer and accept. Horizontal in and open. Close and open. Close and open. Slowly moving arms forward. Shoulder width. Keep those shoulders down. And push, pull, push. So you know you're not using a lot of arm effort if the elbows can drop straight down. If the arms are out here, that's too much neck, too much neck action. More mid-back, vertical, up and down, really slowing down, moving in the rhythm of a very slow breath. up, lift chi overhead, pour chi into ba hui, one cycle of breath, breathe in and breathe out, hands will come down, make contact with yin tong, third eye point, the celestial eye, hands move around and make contact with yu zen, Great if you have neck strain, eye strain. Push this point throughout the day. Reach down in between the shoulder blades. And then up under the arms between the shoulder blades. Come to Da Bao, deliver Chi. Slowly move to Ming Man, deliver Chi. Deliver chi, and then down the front of our legs. So making yourself small, this is that condensing feeling. Slow as you can go. Three rounds, move forward, down, back, and up. Keep your knees together the whole time, so don't sacrifice going lower just, to, just if your knees come apart. You need to keep them together. Okay, gather chi in front of the feet and now pull that earth chi behind and now we pull it up the backs of the legs. 
Coming up, rolling up, strong legs, rolling up. We're coming up with a rounded spine on the way up. And deliver chi to Ming Man. And now come around, deliver chi to Da Bao. Or sorry, this is not Da Bao, this is Dan Tian. Build Dan Tian energy. And our arms are down by our side. So this will bring into this the third, the third third, uh, will bring in the microcosmic orbit meditation. So start to visualize golden spinning orb of perfect energy, limitless energy. It's about two inches down from the navel, straight back into the center, what you would feel as the center of your body. So start allow that to spin and intensify. And it is going to move down to the very tip of your tailbone. Now it starts to spin and, and it starts to have um, the double helix of energy and they those double helix beams of golden light start to weave themselves in and out and around the pelvis and in and out of what are called the nine Liao points of our sacrum where a lot of the um, nerve flow to our legs happens through these points and allow that golden orb now it's starting to lift up and we will now bring the arms up the golden orb is still down here and when we're starting to lift up we will now bring it up it's coming into here spinning now and we bring all the way overhead and here we deliver and connect core energy into ba hui now the let the golden orb be up, it's come through the throat, it's now in the center of our brain. It condenses now in the center of the brain, and then we focus it, bring that about golf ball size of energy to the third eye, and then let it travel straight back to Yuzen. Continue to pour energy into the top of the head, and now we bring it back bring the hands down, bring. Now what connects is the golden orb connects when you touch. Those two things come together. Where are your thoughts? Where do you put and invest your thought energy? Come around and now bring it back to you then. And it starts to descend back through as we reach it down we guide it back in between the shoulder blades and then we guide it around kind of like wearing it like a backpack spinning here now spinning in your chest and it starts to descend now it's into the lower abdomen Keeping it here at the belly. We just brought the golden orb down and weaved it in and connected. We did a little freestyle, a little freestyle of the form. Now we'll bring the hands up at the chest. Bring the right hand forward first. And come around. At, when you get sideways, zhong uh, hui, thumb to middle digit, middle finger. Remember, you're trying to spin around your own body. So 
keep your hips home, legs together, and spin your shoulders. So avoid this reach that happens. It's a spin and a stretch. And then underneath to Chi Hu, energy point. Reaching forward. So where's the golden orb? Now it's all over. Now it's in my chest. Now it's opened my head. Dong Kui. And simultaneously spin around. It's now starting to intensify and coming, you know, it's still down in the Dantian. Three breaths here. Breathe it in. Lift the arms off of the off of the chest. Exhale. So there's space between your arms and your chest. Breathe in. Exhale. And breathe in. Exhale. Hands float off. Roll the wrists around one another. So rolling the wrists is fingers up, fingers down, fingers back up. And then inhale, stretch up. Stretch up. And then pull chi, or stretch up as high as you can one more time. So excited to pull that chi down. Feels so good. And then well, now we'll pull it down. And arms move forward. Chi to yin tong and then bend the elbows. Deliver chi to da bao. Reach back here is where we gather. Reconnect left and right kidneys in the final piece and then palms forward halfway. And women right hand, men left hand. First onto the belly. So right over your, your navel's right in the palm. And we breathe here. So a very um, interesting question is to ask how much peace you have in the relationships of your life, in your interpersonal relationships. First one being with yourself. Does practicing mindful movement meditation help some of that uh, monkey mind, that critical mind, help calm it down, it doesn't, it's not allowed to have the microphone, because you continue to invest self-love, self-attention, self-awareness throughout the form, so that's our first goal of harmony in ourselves and then we look to the interpersonal relationships of our life how to achieve more harmony in the interpersonal relationships of your life can spending time doing this help yes the more harmony you resonate within yourself the more harmony the other relationships will resonate. And then the third attention is the harmony between you and the world and nature. How to find peace in all of the conflict that is advertised to us. Peace without apathy, peace without denial, peace with compassion, peace with understanding, peace with ever evolving insight. this peace with you throughout the day, whether this is you do this in the beginning of the day or this is going to be, bring peace into your dreams and sleeping. So I'm happy y'all liked my sunrise kimono. It has peacock feathers too. It's pretty special. 
and I'm happy you all saw the mushrooms. Thank you for joining me. Thank you to my teachers. Have a great freaking day. Okay, so we've had success. Now I'm gonna also, can we get into the picture? I'm gonna also show you what true friendship is when you not only show your friend where the golden chanterelles are, then you let them take them home. Because I know them. there'll be more and eat them. That's what they are, they're perfect. And they even taste okay raw, but they're better with butter. They're uniform, kind of this egg white, and then they get the gills come down and just merge into the stem. And they have a, a un, irregular cap. Even this guy is irregular. And they taste delicious They raw. taste delicious. So really this is like two bites because <laughs> they'll boil or they'll saute down. They're gonna go with eggs in about five minutes. Oh my minutes. God, yum. Oh yeah. Mm. Brush them off, you don't wanna eat dirt. Yeah, I will get the dirt mm. off okay. of them, but I, I'm used to eating a little dirt. A little dirt's not bad.